Tonight we are turning our entire show, all 90 minutes of it, over to an absolutely super, super marvelous, marvelous guest. You've seen him in so many movies. He thrilled you on the late TV many times. He's a fantastic performer, an absolute super fellow. So won't you please welcome Lawrence Talbot. <laughs> Sit there. Now, first let me say, sir, what a marvelously, how shall I put it, what a marvelously super experience it is for me to have you on the show. Well, it's a thrill for me to be here, Monty. <laughs> now, he, he is, as you know, Lawrence here. He plays the part of the wolf man. The man was turned into a werewolf. I think he's done about 27 different films. Isn't that correct, Lawrence? Uh, yes, except I didn't play the part. I bet, <laughs> well, who was the wolf man? I, I was, but I, I wasn't acting. Would you mean you were actually? Yes, well, you see, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a real wolf man, and when the moon is full, I, I grow hair and teeth and, and claws. Well, well, I must say, it's absolutely fascinating. I must admit, you see, of all the horror uh, stars, I found you the most loathsome and the most horrendous and the most frightening of all. Very sweet of you, Marty. Well, uh, don't you find being a wolf man, in fact, a bit of a problem, sir? Well, uh, you got to learn to live with these things. You see, uh, we all have problems, and you got to make the problems work for you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I've been uh, lucky enough, uh, been able to turn it into a living. As it hasn't made me a rich man, but there's one thing I've learned in life, and that is you just you can't bite off more than you can chew. Oh, good, good. I think that's a fabulous philosophy. Now, when did you first become aware of your marvelous, might I say, very unusual talent, sir? It was one night uh, I woke up, there was, uh, was a full moon shining through the window. I put my hands to my face and, and I felt a beard and then I felt my hair was long and I looked at my hands and they were covered with hair. My. And then this uh, strange feeling from inside came over me, and I felt the desire, almost a compulsion to... Uh, to go out and bay at the moon? No, to, sh to shave. Ah, well, how old were you, sir? Four. Yeah. Did you, in fact, shave? No, I, I didn't know what shaving was. I was only four. Yes, of course. Yes. Well, well what, uh, I mean, what did you do? I did. I imagine what any normal kid that age would do. I, I tore up my teddy bear, I ate my sheets, and just choked on the rubber one. Oh. <laughs> well, didn't you have a uh, happy childhood? Oh, yeah. My, my parents loved me, and why not? I was a pick of the litter. <laughs> but what happened to your uh, brothers and sisters? My parents drowned three and gave four away. I, I beg your pardon, I just... It's, it's the old three-four principle. Drown three and give four away. It's an old Transylvania tradition. Ah, ah, yes. I've heard of that. You grew up there, didn't you? Yes. Now, what language uh, did uh, they speak in Transylvania? English with an accent. <laughs> Interesting. Oh. Uh, do you ever, uh, did you ever go back there? Ah, I man can never go home. Uh, kidding, it's a uh, place it's, it's very frightening. Uh huh? Oh, it's thunder, lightning, weird castles, and English tourists running out of gas. A lot of people frightening people. <laughs> uh, see, people only know about Frankenstein and Count Dracula and myself, but. We have cousins, and you wouldn't believe. There was, there was Icky, who was, was a, and then there was Clarence. Well, just weird people, but I, I lived good because my, my father was rich. He was rich? Oh, yes. 
Well, wasn't he? Ah, I heard he was a baron or a count or something. No. Uh, he's, my father's a custom tailor. A guy would walk into Dad's shop and he'd say, uh, can you make me up a, uh, a suit with three sleeves? And my dad would make it. Nothing off the rack. No, of course not. Over there, when you say it off the rack, <laughs> he meant to take him down. He's had enough. <laughs> I think that's very interesting. Don't you think that's very interesting? I do. Very, very, very. So, Lawrence, you left Transylvania and you came to Hollywood. Now, what was your first film? It, uh, was nothing. It was just a uh, bit part. I, uh, just came out and, and bit somebody. I, it was a long time before I got something that I could seek my teeth into. It was. Well, let's, uh, let's talk about film, shall we? Does she want me to do this now? Well, would you excuse me a moment? Uh, now, do you have trouble sleeping? Well, I do. And this is what I take. Knockout. Just one drop and I'm out cold in seconds. And by the way, it's marvelous to use while you're driving. And now, once more, back to our guest, the fantastic wolf. <laughs> now, we'll... Would you like some water, sir? We were talking about your uh, first film, sir. What's today's date? The date? Yes, today's date. Uh, it's the uh, uh, 16th. Well, either you're wrong or my hands are fast. <laughs> okay, well, it's, it's at least the uh, 15th. Uh, now, about this, um, this film, film. You were telling me about your film. Yes. The first one. Yes. The first one was called The Wolfman. The Wolfman. Still my favorite. Oh, uh, yes, that's the one in, I believe, in which you got the girl in the end. Yes, I... In the end... Also on the neck, <laughs> on the legs. Are you sure it's the sixteenth? Uh, has anybody got an almanac yet? Uh, yeah, you want? Uh, 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 wolf, uh, wolf man, uh, you have frightened uh, millions of people. Uh, could you tell me what frightens you, sir? Yes. What was it? Friday's. <laughs> the way they look like at you in the morning. Scary. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's very good. Okay. Uh, yes. Ah. Now, here is a shaving cream that remains moist and active through many shapes and the toughest beard. I, uh, I feel that many of you are aware of this particular brand of uh, shaving cream. It, it comes hot in the can. In the can. And, uh, and, uh, and, 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 and it eases problem of, of shaving. Would you like to do this commercial for me? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't eat that. He bombed. I told him he should never do talk shows. I'm afraid, I'm afraid uh, that our time is up and it's over and I'm sorry because <laughs> I didn't know that you were so active. <laughs> is over, and I'm sorry because there's so many things that I did personally. Thank you, sir. No, it's all right. You can leave it just the way it is. There's many things I wanted to ask you, but you've been a marvelous guest. Would you come back again? 
Uh, I would be delighted, sir. And uh, I want to say again a big thank you to this fine man. This, this, uh, this extraordinary personality. Good night. And good night, sir. We'd be happy to see you again. Bye. Bye.